Yes, what can I do for you? I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. Very well. Fight. That's what I get for mixing myself up in all this. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the King. The men were short on decent armor and weapons for a while, but Owen, the blacksmith, has started repairing our equipment. Stubborn fool was refusing to talk to anyone only this morning. You didn't have anything to do with his change of heart, did you? <laughs> Maybe we'll make it through this night after all. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. We're better off now that we've sufficient arms. I don't know that we're ready for the battle, really. Were we ever? Is there anything else? Oh? Ask away. We're the last defenders of them folks in the Chantry. The women, elderly, and the children. They're the ones we need to protect. No matter what happens, we can't let them evil things in there. If they die, the village is done. Don't rightly know. We heard the Arl was sick and getting worse, but after a while we heard nothing at all. A few folks went up to the castle to see what was going on. They couldn't get in. Nobody was there, not a soul. And then those horrid creatures attacked the village. They were everywhere, people dying. It was awful. Good thing Bantigan was here. No. I know the Arlesa sent the knights out for a cure. You can ask Sir Perth about it. He was one of them. Hmm. If you want weapons and such, speak to Owen. He may not have much in stock yet, though. Ah. Uh, commerce isn't exactly our biggest concern right now, but you might want to speak to Lloyd at the tavern. I wouldn't trust him, though. There's not much time before sundown. We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. There's not much time before sundown. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning.
word from the castle? No, all is still, as it has been for days. And it is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The Arl lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Very well then, my lord. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. We have sufficient armour and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much, exactly? Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Ask me whatever you wish. You know about as much as I do. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange rumors about the abandoned castle. I was the only knight to survive the first attack. Since then, I found others returning from the Arlesa's quest. Until we get to the source of this evil, though, I do not think it will stop and I don't believe we will be enough. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The Urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteer to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden. Or so I was told. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there or transformed into these... things. The thought chills my blood. As you wish. We retrieved more oil from the village store. It is ready to use as our first line of defense, as you suggested. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain, but we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. As you wish, my lord. Maker watch over you.
even said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. You're very sweet. I... I suppose there's no harm in it. How noble. I... oh my... Stay... stay safe tonight. And good luck. What is it you need, child? I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sopath seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Sopath believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I suppose if they believed in the Maker's power, that belief would inspire them somewhat. It, it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver-cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Of course I do. These are Maker's symbols. What better protection could we ask for? I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you wish, my lord. May go watch over you. Something on your mind? Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. You couldn't have armed us with any better than our faith in the Maker. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. <laughs> 